this has been dreadful. More fun watching this go round and round and this going on. So it's <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen Villa fans so angry when this kit was released. Everyone absolutely hated it. But to be fair, in real life, it ain't too bad. Service station about an hour away from Newcastle. We're here with Saul today. Saul, it's been a while. Yeah, I know. How are we feeling about this one today? Can't wait. It's been so long. And uh, of the Villa. Of the Villa. Of the Villa. Win. Oh, anything, win. Anything. anything, yeah. We just want a goal. We just want a goal. We are back. Wow, this weather is absolutely unreal, especially when especially when we're in shorts. Come on. Welcome to Newcastle. Well, this isn't a bad way to start the season, is it? Right, we just had a pizza on our way to the ground. Newcastle, great place. It, uh, I've never seen a city so busy in my life. So, what are we thinking? Uh, it's a wonderful city, yeah? Yeah. It's not nice. everyone's partying. All the Geordies are sound, all nice, speaking yeah. to us, everyone's nice. Yeah. They all think they're going to beat us. But yeah, they do. They're all very yeah, confident, yeah. aren't they? I've never seen I mean, a group so confident. It's not going to be the same as last season, because we can't be nice, but, yeah. you know, I, I think we're going to win 1-0 or 2-0. 2, -nil. two -nil, fair enough, I know. Yeah, like I say, all the Geordies are sound, and we're going we're gonna to go to the ground now and uh, come on the villa. What are we saying today? What are we saying today? Yeah. Well, I'm a bit scared of you, man, I can't lie. You really? Yeah, yeah. I, I say a draw. See the yeah. friendly beforehand, uh, last three, three. Three, three, was it? Three, in the three, States? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Probably the same again today. You got you down Buendia, though, aren't you? Yeah, down Buendia. Maybe down our best Buendia. player. But... Maybe he's 1 1 today. 1 1. I'll yeah. take yeah. it as well. 2 2. 2 2. 2 2. 2 2. 2 2. Right, guys, we are here at St James's Park. The 23 24 Premier League season is back. We are here. The first away game of the season, the first game of the season. Furthest away ground for Villa this season is Newcastle. We are here. Obviously, last season we lost 4 0 here at St James's Park. But this season we've got a completely different team, completely different manager, completely different style. And I think it could be a different game today. Villa haven't won here since 2005. So our record at St James's Park isn't the best. And Newcastle have never been beat a team more than Aston Villa in the Premier League ever. They beat us 71 times. But today I'm feeling we're going to get something. We're going to get at least a point, I think, today. Um, Newcastle, obviously, last season were really, really good. Got Champions League football. We secured European football on the last day of the season. But today it's going to be an interesting game. We drew with Newcastle in pre-season, but it's great to be back. Uh, I'm excited for this one. To be honest, I'm not too bothered about the score. Buendia is injured, which is a big, big miss for us. Football is back, which is the main thing. Newcastle today is going to be a hard one. Eddie Howe, new signings, Tonali and all that. But we've also got Tielemans, Torres, the new boys. We all know it. And uh, yeah, we're going to get inside the stadium. Hopefully we're going to get a win. Hopefully we're going to get something. Come on, the Villa. Freddie, Freddie and Jeff today. Freddie, what's the score going to be today? 3-0. 3-0 to Newcastle, yeah? 3-0. Who's going to score the goals? Isaac, yeah. long stuff. Yeah. yeah. Kieran Trippier, yeah. fair enough. <laughs> Ten seconds. Here we go. Villa fans here today. What are we saying? Come on, you three, two. liars. Oh, see you on the channel. Oh, you hear it? 3-2 win, yeah? 3-2 win. Are you famous? Yeah. It's the easy on the channel. Don't drink whiskey yeah, and you'll drink room. Where are the Villa boys from room? Come on, the Villa. <laughs> Come on. Enjoy the game. We've got Adam Pearson here, Newcastle vlogger. Go subscribe to him. Uh, so today, what are you thinking? Newcastle, first game of the season. What has your thoughts? Well, I think the fact that it is at St James, I am always going to back Newcastle against any team at St James. Now, I remember putting on your channel actually for the, the way fixture last season. I remember on the day of saying I was a bit worried how this game was going to go hard, throw a kick off all of a sudden. I think Aston Villa, honestly, is probably the only team last season that actually outplayed Newcastle for the entire 90 minutes. So even in games like St. Arsenal, for example, yeah. well, Newcastle had little spells in the match we did well, but against Aston Villa, for 90 minutes, you guys played us off the bar. I mean, honestly, you did. But it's great to see now that both teams are back in European football. You mentioned before, I mean, this is a, a match like a couple of seasons ago would have been a, a, a championship match, yeah. a relegation battle game. But now, Newcastle's Champions League, Aston Villa's the Conference League. I mean, I think Villa are a serious team. I really think I know when I am. We, a full, full season on the head, you can do wonder. So, yeah. but as for this match today, so, uh, as for this match today, as I was saying, I think it's going to be a tricky game for both teams. I think both teams probably look at this match and go, it's not the, the best first game of the season. But I think at home, Newcastle, you have to be confident against any team. I said 3 1 this morning to us, I'm going to back it. I'm yeah. going to back us to win this game. Fair enough. And uh, Newcastle, the season Champions League football, is that the main aim? Would you take. Progressing in the Champions League and finishing lower in the Prem? Well, I think it has to be. Uh, Newcastle, the last time won a domestic major on was 1955. I mean, that is so long for any team that won Newcastle. So, any, any any form of European football next season, and you do well in the competition, that's what I want personally. Yeah. Like, some people might disagree with that, but I think for Newcastle now, I think as well next season, depending on how teams do in the Champions League, fifth place would be a Champions League team anyway, so that's an extra European slot in. For me, 
just anywhere European football, I want us to try our best in the major honours and see if we can win something. Fair enough. And uh, up the villa. It's unboiling. <laughs> it's part of the Newcastle away experience, isn't it? Oh, this is. <laughs> Come on. Come on. A win, yeah? yeah? Yeah, and we're excited for this season. What's going to happen? Uh, I reckon we'll get top six. Top six? Fair enough. And uh, up the villa. Up the villa. Good boy, binoculars. Two on the villa. No, Leon, Leon Bailey. Yeah. I'm Mr. Derby. I'm Mr. Derby. Come on, the villa. Come on. Now. Okay, got us beginning. The start of the 23-24 season is starting. Come on, the villa. Come on. We're gonna win. Come on. Finale on his debut. Six minutes in, Tonali scores on his Newcastle debut. Martin has made a good save. We didn't clear the ball out. Tonali was left open in the box. And it's an all right finish, but we're 1 0 down inside six minutes. It's not what we needed really at all, but it's a decent goal from Tonali. But we've got to clear the ball out, man. It's a good finish, and there we go, 1-1, one, one. back in the game, come on the Villa. All tenders in the sky. Okay, we're back to 2-1, I'm not going to lie, I didn't even see the goal, I just saw the ball hit the back of the net, but before I can tell, it was poor marking, and the back losing again, 17 minutes in. There we go, there's a chance here, Bailey. Yeah, back to 2-1 down, I'm not going to lie, I didn't see the goal, but defensively, we're not doing great, are we? 2-1 down. Time is for our time, and we really haven't been in the game the entire game. I think our problem is our better players from last season, like Watkins and McGinn, haven't really touched the ball. Watkins hasn't done anything, and McGinn hasn't done anything, hasn't won any challenges in the middle. Diaby's playing all right, Kamara's playing all right, and apart from that, we're not challenging Newcastle. And and we've got to get him in at half time like he did a lot of last season and really give him a talking to him. Oh, yeah. So that is our best move for probably the whole second half apart from the goal. Second half is beginning, first half. I'm really disappointed to be honest. I don't think we were good enough at all. Newcastle were completely in control. Anthony Gordon's making Matty Cash look awful. I don't know. McGinn's been rubbish. Watkins hasn't touched the ball. Bailey's trying, but he's, we all know he's not good enough. DRB has actually been pretty good to be fair, but apart from that, we haven't defended great, we haven't created anything, we haven't moved the ball around, and the second half needs to be a lot better. Let's hope um, Emery has uh, talked to his players and got them playing better. Because we know we can move the ball around faster than that, but it does not happen this first half, so we need to take control, we need to play a lot better, and we need to uh, throw Newcastle off. What are we saying? First half, what are we saying? <laughs> it was rubbish, wasn't it? Yeah. We have one we have one score. Yeah. Other than that number, what can goes to 
Are we gonna are we gonna are we gonna win or score in the second half? We're gonna score, but we're gonna draw two. Yeah, two times. Take a draw. Come on the villa. video has been pretty rubbish because I've not got any of the goals properly for Newcastle but Hans has got the ball inside our box, gave it away and Isaac's almost chip us. That's 3-1, 58 minutes in, that's game over. It's a really poor mistake from Conzo and what Conzo is doing is just messing around inside the box. Isaac gets it and he's just chip Martinez. <laughs> He's been rubbish today. Oh, come on. What is going on? What is going on? Oh, yes. Yes. Massive pass. You absolute. He has been absolutely shocking today. Anthony Gordon has teared him apart. And now he's just missed that. It's got a bit more fun watching this go round and round and this going on. <laughs> oh, the Villa are back. The Villa are back. We're losing, we're going on back. Sorry Newcastle fans, I'm usually a lot better at this, but Newcastle scored four goals and I think I've only got one of them on camera. I think Harvey Barnes has scored again, I, 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 I didn't even really see the goal. Karen has scored, I didn't even see the goal. I don't really care, I feel bad because I haven't got any of them on video really. This has been dreadful. So we just lost 5-1, that was absolutely horrendous, there's no defending that, Newcastle battered us in all areas, attack, midfield, defence, our defence was an absolute tatters, Harvey Barnes, Anthony Gordon, who I thought before the game was rubbish, Isaac Wilson were absolutely all over our defence and it was absolutely shambolic, midfield did nothing, the only player they did alright I thought was Diaby and Bailey I thought was unlucky to come off but Watkins did not touch the ball, Dan Byrne had him in his pocket and well what was that it was nice to celebrate a goal like we just said but absolutely shocking if we play like that against every team every team this season we won't probably win many games so i don't know first 10 minutes of the second half before you know what yeah give him a game yeah give him a game and then after that yeah, it was rubbish. I don't know, Newcastle fans, if you enjoyed, like the video because you played well. Geordies are a nice group of people. The atmosphere was good in the second half. Um, I don't know, it was it was shit. So yeah, see you guys next week at Everton. Oh well, it's good to be back. It's good to be back. Good to be back following the Villa going to every away game. So like when you got performances like that, what a terrible, terrible game. For see you next week. That was